Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Welcome to the first video covering male genitourinary pathology. Starting with testicular pathology and testicular cancer. Pay close attention to some of the commonalities between the testes and the ovary, including torsion and cancer histology. To learn about the testes, let's head to the backyard for a quick game of tetherball. As you'll soon see for yourself, tetherball is way less fun when the ball is tethered too tightly or even not tethered enough. You'll see what I mean. Let's start with cryptorchidism. In most baby boys, both testes have already descended from the abdomen through the inguinal canal and into the scrotum. When one or more testes has not fully descended, that's cryptorchidism. The missing testis may be located anywhere along the path of descent from the abdomen to the inguinal canal. Usually one side is affected, but in about 10% of cases, it's both. It should be suspected if the testes are not palpated in the scrotum. Make sure to check the inguinal area though. The most common location for an undescended testis is right at the external inguinal ring, sometimes presenting as a visible mass in the groin. Crypt orchidism is like the tethered ball here, getting held back by the bully. Usually unilateral, and just uncalled for, really. Notice, too, how his pocket is pulled out, kind of depicting an inguinal fullness. Luckily, most undescended testes spontaneously descend by six months of age. Crypt orchidism is common in premature infants, occurring about 30% of the time. Though, by one year of age, the testes will usually make their normal descent. Crypt orchidism is usually an isolated finding. However, it can be a manifestation of an underlying anatomic, genetic, or endocrine disorder, especially bilateral crypt orchidism. Hence the bilateral outturned pockets on our genetically dysfunctional kid down here. What kind of genetics, you ask? Well, take a look at his classy Calvin Klein felt argyle sweater. Two X's with a Y collar, representing the 47XXY genotype of patients with Kleinfelter syndrome. This is the most common congenital syndrome causing hypogonadism in males. Patients with Kleinfelter syndrome present with small, firm, hypofunctional testes, lengthened extremities, and cognitive impairment. In fact, See those trampled male symbol trowels? It turns out that all kinds of genetic disorders that cause either abnormal sexual development or hypogonadism can also cause cryptorchidism, likely due to the fact that the first stage of testicular descent is, in part, controlled by estrogens, and androgens, and malarian-inhibiting substance, all kinds of hormones. Cryptorchidism carries an increased risk of testicular cancer, particularly in the undescended testicle. However, unilateral cryptorchidism is also associated with a slight increased risk in cancer for the contralateral testicle too. Infertility is another important complication, depicted by our recurring dried-up infertility tree. The temperature in the scrotum is naturally lower than normal body temperature, and exposure to the higher temperature of the abdomen leads to atrophy of Sertoli cells and seminiferous tubules. This leads to decreased fertility, even in unilateral cases. Leydig cells are not affected by the elevated temperatures, so testosterone levels are not usually affected. Also, you see how the tetherball rope is all twisted up? The abnormal testicle is also prone to testicular torsion, since the testicle isn't secured properly to the tunica albuginea. More on torsion soon. Treatment is surgery to bring the undescended testis into the scrotum, known as orchiopexy. This surgery is usually performed as soon as possible in order to decrease the risk for malignancy. Interestingly, even after surgery, the risk of developing testicular cancer is not completely eliminated. There's just something about cryptorchidism that increases the risk of testicular cancer.